needing a jacket. As we plan the rest of our morning, temperatures remaining muggy, getting up to about 69 degrees by 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 72 degrees. As we head into the next three days, temperatures a lot cooler for tomorrow. Back to you. Coming up, a Barbie thief is on the run after stealing several vintage Barbies. The Barbies are worth thousands of dollars. What the owner fears could happen to her dolls. And engines are revving up because monster truck wars are officially coming to the Rio Grande Valley. I've got all your details and your. Welcome back. Your time now, 513. Now to an event for the whole family, one that's jam-packed with action and will definitely hold your attention. Valley Por Vida Lifestyle host Danielle Banda is in studio with details. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, get ready because the wildest monster truck show is coming to Mercedes and I can practically hear the engines going already. The event is back and it's bigger than ever this year with all new superstars lined up to hit the arena, meaning the biggest, the baddest monsters that you can imagine. Now, this show is going to feature the world famous outlaw truck, the three time world champion barefoot truck, the sheriff truck from Tombstone, Arizona and the legendary Carolina. Crusher. So clearly lots of big names making way here. Now this is a national touring live entertainment company specializing in our favorite monster trucks and tractor pooling, mud racing, and so much more. Uh, monster Truck Wars has got a combined 60 years plus in event production and promotion. I'm telling you every year is again bigger and better with an unforgettable experience for sure. Not only do they have an A plus rating with PRCA, but look, they've also got nationally recognized sponsors sponsors who help to just provide an overall higher level of performance. So they've got drivers who specialize in quality control and definitely will help you to, you know, keep you on the edge of your seat. It's really exciting and you'll get to witness these giant trucks as they battle it out via a huge fast truck for big air. They're literally in the air. This means a competition of earth shaking, ground pounding, high flying excitement here in the valley. The dirt's literally expected to fly. You'll be able to see that. So they've got also the world famous clash of the tide. Titans truck. It's set also to provide nonstop head to head grudge match entertainment and excitement. It's a real treat, you know, just to see who's going to win the bragging rights this time. And not only that, but your kiddos will have a chance to join in on the action a little bit themselves <laughs> because they can bring their power wheels for a special kids version power wheel uh, race. And it's going to be open to children from the ages of three to nine. And there's even going to be opportunities for them to get a ride on a real monster truck. So very exciting. 
If that sounds exciting to you and your family, your kiddos, be sure to check out the Monster Truck Wars events page via monstertrucks.fun to learn all about the details. All the fun and high flying energy festivities are going to be going down in the arena and you can go uh, with your family. Have tons of fun. Did, did you get that? The tons of fun part? <laughs> I was hoping someone would. Yeah, I got it. The <laughs> no, kind of transportation I need for the biggest and baddest. Oh, wait, I don't get to ride them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. If you're three to nine, are you three to nine years of age? I can act like one. <laughs> we all can, right? No, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> you know, I think we have this obsession with uh, engines and cars and powerful vehicles. I mean, the hey. bigger, the better. Yeah, the bigger, the better. everything's I'm bigger in Texas, no? Right. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know, we have a good car scene, a car enthusiast. Yes. Enthusiastic scene here in, in the valley, so that's also good to see. But definitely, the little kids have to wear those, you know, because they're yeah. so loud. Yeah, right? you're gonna be going like this with the dirt on your face. <laughs> right. the whole time. All right. So from monster trucks to Barbies, any of y'all have Barbies here? Not anymore. Oh, I do have one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you one. might want to hide them because there is a Barbie bandit on the run. Police in Denton say someone broke into a home and stole Barbie dolls valued at hundreds of dollars each. I don't know if I have that kind of Barbie, <laughs> but uh, I wish I did. NBC's Alicia Barrera spoke to the owner who is now worried her vintage Barbies will end up on sale online. I grew up in the 60s with Barbie dolls. Christina got a